Hello everyone, welcome to the uh, vending machine version 5 here. This uh, this one doesn't have a reset, it's pretty awesome. And a whole new display, which is pretty cool. I'm currently on my uh, Aatrox world here. I just finished setting this guy up. Pretty cool. And I'll show you how it works. So as a quick demo, the display works, kind of shows you three things. You have what resource you're, you're selecting, if the resource is selected or not. And if the canister is that it, that yeah if the uh, resource is empty or not if you need to refuel it using a reset system like we have here so let's say just a quick run through let's say I want all right here I want plastic and I want organic so I've selected plastic or organic as you can see here and I'll walk over here to my keypad now the keypad is shows you what how many re resource you're getting now you can't individually select so like I only want one of this and two of this you will get two for both although you could do so so for example I want one so just sent the first signal through and I'll turn this off because I want two organic it's gonna be some tricky timing so I don't know if like you can fully get it right Actually, now that I think about it, I think I just broke it partially. I did. Okay, maybe it's not the best to do that. Or wait, no, I didn't. Did I leave? Sorry, for, so it has really precise timing. So if you, I think I might have turned it off before the auto arm could have gotten a resource. Or before it turned off, so it's just going to grab me infinite resources. No, I guess I did time it right. Okay, no worries. Anywho, I have two organic and a plastic. And then let's say I really want, like, a quartz. Alright, to make a beacon. But I need a ton of quartz. That's where my tenth button comes in, where I have it programmable. By pretty much just in the uh, delay, I have it where it would normally trigger the count repeater triggering this button repeater and then this button repeater going back to the first primary switch I'll show that over in the later half of the video to figure and how to build all this and then pretty much I could just kind of time it so I have four leading into five so that's or six sorry so that'd be 24 different counts now of course let's say again I need a ton of that uh, so I don't want all that much but you know I still need 10 so what I'm gonna do switch this to 10 and using this button see it triggers here and I should get 10 quarts it'll take a while because well 10 quarts and it has to travel through the whole system if you want it to go faster just build kinda your auto arms really close I built them kinda far away just because I don't know, I'm patient, and I was too lazy to build it closer and dig just a bigger, bigger hole here. Alright, it's pretty massive. And here, all the quartz is being dispensed here. Now, I'm going to be getting 10 quartz. Let's say, you know, I need to subtract 2 quartz and a plastic from this. So, I will put it right here in my reset. Or I guess it would be more like a refill. So once you put the resources in the refill, they will follow down this line here and be picked up by their re respective canister. Now, pretty much how the canisters work, it's super simple. It's just an extra large extended platform. Your uh, resource, auto arm with filter turned off, auto arm with filter turned on, takes it from the platform, puts it into here, and of course, you have this, where all the triggering happens. Alright, so you have all your different resources. I fit about 10 for each kind of circle. And then you have an on that's selecting from here. And this, this is kind of your output where everything goes. And then you have the triggerings from everything. So, I'm going to go load up my test world. And I'm going to show you guys how to build it and how everything works here. Hello, now we're back to the uh, kind of explanation part of the video and how to build it. So, first for the display, pretty much you just want however many resources you have. For this example, I have 16. And you want a power switch. 
Alright, the power switch indicates whether your canister is full or not, and that, of course, can be decided by just a storage sensor on empty or not empty, leading into its correspondent power switch. So, right here, I have compound, and when this can canister is empty, as you can see, the switch will flip off, but the second it refills, the switch will flip on. Very simple. Now, pretty much each uh, kind of thing will have a filter. For this example, there's no filters because, well, there's no other uh, canisters. But normally, you'd have a filter. This is the back, and this is the front. Now, the front, you'll have a, another auto arm, which will take off of this platform. And this auto arm usually is turned on and it will fill into your compound or whatever resource you have for your reset so with the reset system for your first first part make sure you have another delay repeater set on 20 cycles activating so here is your auto arm here so this delay repeater is at 25 cycles and then you have another delay repeater at 25 cycles triggering the auto arm in front of it and so on and so forth but the first one needs to have 25 cycles this ensures that only one resource gets on a platform at a time so no resources can sneak past now pretty much the uh, selecting system is super easy all right you just have to lay however many each switch is one resource so for of course I have 16 resources so 16 switches and you want all the switches powered so, really simple, just power all the switches and connect power to one primary switch. So here, all the switches have power, but none are being activated. Now, you also want a power sensor on power gained or power lost in front of each switch. Now, what this does is it creates kind of a pre-select. So first, before you send any signals, so everything's turned off, I will select, let's say, resource 8 here. So, let me see, where's resource 8? Ah, right here. So, resource 8 has been selected. It's on, but there's no power going through this system. So, it is pre-selected right here. Then, you go over to your count, and the count's super easy, designed by Phil. I really love it. It's super simple. So, you have two power switches going into a power sensor on power gains, and the power sensor activates a lot of things it activates its secondary switch this delay repeater set to 25 ticks your count repeater and a kind of primary button repeater you only need one of these I'll explain what's for in a second now you want your delay repeater again also triggering this guy right here and triggering this five cycle delay the five cycle delay will be triggering the secondary switch again and this will be your count repeater. This system is currently set up for one, so it's just a button repeater. But for this one, it's set as four, so it'll be four. So it could trigger one, two, three, four, and you'll get four resources. And these count repeaters slash button repeaters are set for this uh, primary switch. Now the primary switch is activated, so for example, this is one. So one will activate this primary switch, activating the system for one or two this power switch activating the system for two for two resources now here this is where all your signals go and you'll wire it through here to this power switch this power switch is kind of like the basics so let's say I want it four times so first it'll activate once turn off auto arm turns off Oh, I wired something wrong. Erm. Oh, I see. My bad. Sorry. Anywho, uh, we'll try, let's say, two. So here, it'll turn on. So the auto arm will grab a resource. It'll turn off. Turn on again. Auto arm will grab a resource. Turn it off. Now, of course, I can do this with as many systems as I want. So I can do, let's say, I also want this resource. Uh, this resource to this resource and uh, also compound let's say 
And I just want one of those. So I'll activate once. Right here. This auto arm will turn on. Oh, is there no resources? My bad. You have to set these to dispensing. It'll take its resource. Or not. Hi. Oh, it's not powered. That's probably why. Alright. Nothing two QT RTGs can't solve. But if it was powered, make sure to power your system. It would have grabbed the resources, and then another auto arm would take them and put them to your kind of dispensing bay. And of course, this primary system back here is your reset. So here, this is your switch, and it'll go on further to more and more resets. You want a 25 cycle delay for this first one. You'll have it triggering, so let's say this is my uh, reset platform. I'll put all the stuff I want to uh, be put away right here. And this is my primary auto arm. For this first auto arm, I want it at a 25 cycle delay. And then, of course, your normal 25 cycle delay for the uh, secondary auto arms. And they go on and on and on for each resource you have. Otherwise, the uh, system is pretty simple. Now, a little bit of extra stuff that I added, just because why not, is this cool kind of animation here. You would you saw it uh, previously at the uh, my Aatrox bases vending machine it's really simple you just kind of have four of these all set to five and then they're activating their corresponding lamp and then each one of these buttons will trigger this button repeater which will trigger this this switch and then after I think I had it set to all right five 25 cycle delays and it'll trigger this switch again to turn it off here and uh, you could add like at your uh, like primary platform where you pick everything up, a storage sensor and stuff like that, but that's just a little bit too complicated for me, honestly. Anywho, I hope that was a pretty good tutorial. This is the cheapest design I could think of. Of course, it requires pretty much bare bones and nothing. It kind of looks like a lot, but get rid of these platforms and only use or like get rid of these uh, splitters and only use platforms and. Get rid of these platforms holding these down. You can really make this system really cheap. The only thing you can't really make that much cheaper is this, uh, the repeater system. Just make sure you don't get rid of these platforms. or it, Don't get rid of any of the switches. Make sure it ha has power. Uh, well, I uh, hope that was a good tutorial. See you guys in hopefully the version 6. Too many vending machines, too many vending machines.